So when you're cooking barbecue, is binder really needed? Binder versus no binder. I'm Justin with Cask and Q, and today we're gonna to find out if we're team binder or team no binder. Stick around. So I have some Smithfield pork spare ribs that I got out of the freezer. We're gonna give these a shot today. We're gonna to take this rack, uh, cut it in half. One side's gonna have binder, the other side will not have binder, and, and we'll see which one is the best. So today for our binder, we're just gonna roll with some French's Classic Yellow Mustard. And our rub today is from Townsend Spice and Supply. This is their sweet barbecue. I've already tried it, it's delicious. If you followed this channel very long, you know I like to support local. Townsend Spice and Supply is out of Melbourne, Arkansas. I had a chance to meet with the owners and uh, they're great folks and uh, we had a great time hanging out with them a few weekends ago. So we're gonna give this a go. We have some work to do, so we'll do some trimming on these. Don't cut towards your hand, kiddos. It's a no-no. There we go, nice and easy. So let's pat these dry, to make it easier to handle. Now there's a little skirt piece that I always trim off. It runs right through here. Although the butchers, it looks like they did a pretty good job on this one, so maybe that's not gonna be needed. All right, uh, well, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the membrane off. I have some other videos where I do that in great detail, and I'll put a link right up there and click on that if you're interested in seeing how to remove a membrane. So there's some cartilage that runs along the rib right here. We're just gonna slice that and make this into a St. Louis cut. And you can uh, use this as rib tips, you can put them on the smoker as uh, snacks, or you can use it for sausage grind, whatever you wanna do. And let's just make sure that we don't have any weird stragglers here. So let's clean that side up a little bit. And a lot of times that little tiny rib right there just burns, so square that up nice and neat. I think what we're gonna do is maybe cut right here. Uh, we're gonna go uh, binder, no binder. So let's get started with the binder. Just like I said, French's uh, yellow mustard, just the regular stuff. And the binder is really just to make sure that the rub adheres to the protein. Some people swear by it. Is it really needed? We don't know. All right, so on this rack right here, the no binder, I did get a little mustard on there, I have to dab that off. But we're gonna just use another paper towel and try to get that as dry as we can on the meat side. Just so that this exact scientific experiment <laughs> is controlled properly. Okay, now that we have our ribs seasoned up, we're gonna go ahead and throw these on the Blaze Kamado. Uh, the Kamado is running about 250 degrees. And today I switched it up a little bit. I'm using Kingsford briquettes for a more even temperature, along with some B&B cherry wood chunks. Here we go. This is the uh, half rack that has no binder. And this is the rack that has binder. And this is my Pitmaster snack. So we're gonna let these go for about an hour and come back and check them. Okay, so we're about an hour in on this cook. The Kamado has done a great job of maintaining 250 degrees. So let's take a look inside. Looking really good. I can't tell that there's much of a difference right now. The one on the right, on your right side of the screen, that one right there is the one with the binder and that's without the binder. So we'll let these go for another hour and then we'll come back and check on them. So these ribs have been going for about two and a half hours, and here's what we're looking like. Good color. But I am gonna go ahead and give them a quick spritz with some apple cider vinegar, just to make sure we don't dry out too much. The 
you can see right there we're starting to get some bone exposure which is really good color that townsend um, sweet rub is really holding up well so uh, we're going to come back and check on these in about another hour all right so we're about three hours in and that's what we're looking like still maintaining a great color as a matter of fact that's the exact color i want to keep as close as i can anyway so what we'll go ahead and do is get these on the uh, cutting board and get them wrapped up in some butcher paper okay this is the rack that has binder let's get that wrapped up we're not going to spritz or anything we're just going to wrap these up back on and this of course is the rack I say rack it's a half rack that I sliced in half anyway you know what I mean so this is no binder okay we're gonna let those go for another hour and we'll be back all right guys those ribs are ready let's go ahead and take them off the smoker get them on the cutting board and see which one we like the best let's get these unwrapped Smells delicious. So this is the rack with the binder. And this is the rack with no binder. I would say they look very identical. The one with the binder, you can kind of see some bare spots there. That could be because of the binder, I'm not sure. They both look very good, very good color, smell great. And we have pullback on the bones, as you can see there, bones are exposed on both racks. It's time to slice and see what we think. All right, let's go right in the middle here. That is a good looking spare rib, nice and juicy, as you can see. Let's give this one a taste. Mmm, mm-hmm, clean bite. Just juicy, sweet, smoky. Man, that was really good. Let's give the other one a try. So as you can see there, nice looking rib also. It's nice and juicy as you can see there. Let's give it a bite. Okay, the no binder rib. Hang on. The no, the no binder, for whatever reason. I can't believe it. That is not what I expected. I didn't think there was gonna be a difference. In this particular case, Team No Binder wins. I mean, it's pretty significant difference. I'd love for you guys to comment. Let me know what your experience is with this. Tell me what you think. Have you tried this? Yeah, I've been barbecuing a long time and I've never actually done a comparison like this one. So um, I don't even know what to say, except Team No Binder wins. Hey, you should do this and let me know what you think. It's really easy. You know what else is easy? Hitting that subscribe button hitting that bell and liking this and sharing it. <laughs> hey, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next time.